this is your one minute Homeland refresher. Let's start with the elephant in the room, or no longer in the room, Sergeant Nicholas Brody. After killing Iranian intelligence chief Dinesh Akbari during a mission for Kari and Saul, the Iranians caught Brody and hanged him. His death means we've likely said goodbye to the rest of the Brody clan. They disappeared in the latter half of last season, save for Dana taking up work in a motel. Dana? So the question of whether Chris Brody ever made it to karate class will likely forever go unanswered. After the finale's time jump, Carrie, now eight months pregnant with Brody's child, accepted a job as station chief of the agency's Istanbul location, but didn't make a decision about whether to raise her child herself. Peter Quinn remains on board at the CIA and supportive of Carrie's job, but questions his own mission, and far is around somewhere. So all the bear's time at the CIA has come to an end. He successfully planted Majid Javadi in the Iranian regime, but in the process lost his position as the CIA's acting director to Senator Lockhart. He now works in the private sector where he's making a lot more money, but much less of an impact on, you know, the world. So what to expect from season four, mainly, we'll all continue to wonder how the CIA ever keeps itself together.